we're going to be dividing a whole number by a decimal using the um, area model or the grid method. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make two grids um, that are equivalent to the whole number or two pounds. So we have two holes represented already. And then what we need to do is we need to break up those two holes into groups of 25 hundredths because the problem says Sabrina makes two pounds of barbecued peanuts. How many bags will she need if she plans to package 25 hundredths of a pound of peanuts into each bag? So we're going to have groups of 25 hundredths. We need to figure out how many of those groups that we need. I'm going to use my highlighter to help me with this because it's easier for me to see it. Okay, so we're going to start with the first group of 25 hundredths. 10, 20, we know each of these little dots represents hundredths, so we need five hundredths. I'm going to do a second color highlighter. So we have 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Continuing on to the second hole. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are, this is a good method for the visual learners. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it looks like I can make one more group. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we've divided the two holes into groups of 25 hundredths, and now all we have left to do is figure out how many groups we have. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 groups. Now a lot of you guys said you could have checked this easily knowing your money. You know that you will have how many quarters or 25 hundredths in two dollars. Alexis, eight. We could have also checked it over using the algorithm. We know that 25 hundredths is smaller than two. We're going to have two right here. First thing we need to do is what in the algorithm method? Carrie? We have to move the decimal in the 25 hundredths to the end, and that's two jumps. So we also need to move two jumps within. Um, so now we have 25 does not go into two. Does 25 go into 20? No. 25 we know goes into two hundredths eight times, and that's our answer. If we put matches, we know we are correct.